would like to say some honest words for our beloved king who passed away last Friday after he ruled Saudi Arabia for almost 10 successful years. <clears throat> we are our friends after your death. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for the success and the sacrifice that you did for your people and for the following generations. No words can even appreciate what you have given us, all what you had held on your shoulders to reach this country, to be one of the most powerful country in the world and also one of the best country in safety and equity. I'm not going to speak for everything or for all of his achievements. I will just mention that there are almost or more than 200,000 scholars overseas because of him. He gave us all the opportunities to study overseas and paid for every single thing for our education and our health and was really concerned for our life overseas and make everything in our education possible with no pain and no regret. Because one thing, because of one thing, that we're gonna go back to Saudi Arabia with pride and to teach the next generations from what we had taught overseas and all the education skills that we had. Rest in peace, our beloved, and I wish all the best for our current King, my father Salman, who is going through Saudi Arabia, so on. Thank you for listening and uh, allowed me. Thank you. And actually, I would like to say some few words for PIBT. Those people who stayed beyond the magic, actually, and stayed very close to me from the beginning, before my surgery, before every single thing. Since the moment I came here with teacher Jane and like some teachers, they didn't know actually how I'm grateful to stay or to be teach under their supervision, supervision. With all the skills that they have to teach us, for the like for me actually, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not gonna talk in general because some of us go back or some of us just came. I'm gonna talk something for me from the moment I came here like two months or like the next month I'm going to like to finish my second year in the street. So PIBD team, the team who stayed beyond this is institutions from Craig to the all of us, for, for all of the teachers, like the only Pauline. And Pauline. Annette and Pauline <laughs> and you know Mad Every, everyone, everyone who stayed very close to teach us, they stayed late to teach us. They made everything possible for one reason, just to let us pass this course. They don't want our money, they don't want anything. We, they just need someone to respect them and give them some feedback. To stand here and to speak, to do your, your presentation, to do your, your job without, without regret. And th this is going to reflect the sense of how we worked hard to be here to pass this course. They don't want anything. They don't want this. They are here for you, not for anything else. And for you guys, we stayed. Thank you for everything. We stayed very close together. We worked hard. We stayed late. We shared our knowledge. We worked as a team for one reason, to pass this course. Some of us might pass, some of us not might pass. It's, 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 it's your problem. It's not their problem. So, what I call this, this is the calm before the storm. What we do now, or what we did actually. We stayed very hard to pass this course, but this is nothing. Because we're going to see the storm in Yuri, in the, in the university, who is going to study in the university. And you need to work hard. It's not something simple. Here we are, we are a team, because we are all international students. But they are going to, like, to stay with more firm people. Those people who are going to stay in the groups, they are going to ignore you, actually. So we need to work hard. We need to work hard. And if 
you can't take it, or actually if you can make it, you can take it. Just study hard and fight hard. So allow me please to start my presentation.